It's a big season for Man United and for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his first full year as Man United manager. But what are his plans for this year? What's going to be different from last season? And what are his plans for the likes of Paul Pogba and Alexis Sanchez? What I'm going to do in this video is run through all of that and tell you why there's plenty of reason to be excited about United this season. Now, before I start, before I get into it, make sure you subscribe to United People TV, hit that notifications bell as well, and get involved in the community. But let's get straight into this one. Something we saw straight away against Chelsea was a new sort of defensive shape and a defensive style that Harry Maguire and Aaron Wan-Bissaka's arrival has helped to change. Because now we've got the players at the back that are confident with the ball at their feet. Lindelof, Maguire, Shaw and Wan-Bissaka are all confident playing the ball around where the likes of Smalling and Jones and Rojo, they always knocked it long. So that's going to be a big difference, I feel, in the, in the build-up play and style of United. We're not always going to be looking to knock it long. Sometimes we will. But what we're going to be looking for is Paul Pogba and Scott McTominay dropping deep, receiving the ball and feeding the wingers. That's what Solskjaer will want his United team to do. And it's we need to do it. You look at Liverpool, City, Spurs. It's the new modern way of playing football. And for us to catch up with those teams above us, we have to try and mimic what they're doing. Now, we haven't really got the midfield to do it at the moment. That's why Pogba has to have a good season because he has to drop deep like he did against Chelsea and be the playmaker, but then burst forward and help with the attacks as well. It's going to be a tough season for him in a midfield which is lacking in numbers and quality. But Maguire and wan arrival has helped, I think, give an option to Solskjaer to bring a new style of play. Lindelof and Maguire, both really good at the ball at their feet. And instead of just... Passing sideways, running out of ideas and knocking it long. Maguire and Lindelof can knock it through the lines, knock it through the middle to Pogba. And that's going to bring a big and important change to how United play out from the back with the ball. And just as much as we're going to have a new defensive shape, the counter-attacking football that we saw against Chelsea, for me, wasn't just a one-off. That's what we're going to see from United this season. We're going to sit quite compact in defensive shapes. We're going to have Rashford and Lingard or James or whoever's playing on the wings coming back to double up on defenders. But Martial or whoever's playing that number nine role will stay up front and United will look to hit hard and fast on the counter-attack. And it worked perfectly against Chelsea. When you hit a team on a counter-attack, they don't have the time to sit in their defensive shape. It's easier to expose their weaknesses. And United have got the pace in attack easily. Dan James, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, Jesse Lingard, we can hit hard and fast. And the reason we couldn't do that all of last year, the players weren't fit enough. And you've seen and heard Solskjaer talking about fitness so much already during the preseason, after the first game against Chelsea, talking about the running stats against Chelsea. Fitness isn't everything. I mean, the failures of David Moyes will tell you that. But Solskjaer wants his team to work hard. And it is hard to play a proper counter-attacking style of football because it's so fast, it's so quick. But United sitting in that defensive shape with the, with the team that we now have, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of counter-attacking football this season. And for me, that is my favourite style of attacking to watch. So happy days. One thing we're certainly going to see a lot of this season is the younger players getting opportunities. Solskjaer, for me, has put a hell of a lot of faith in his youth. Lukaku left, United ballsed up, that was late. Mason Greenwood, that's the player who Solskjaer will be looking towards to sort of Replace a few of Lukaku's goals, or at least replacing his position in the squad, I suppose. Martial and Rashford will both be tasked with scoring more as well. Angel Gomez to Heath Chong both look like first-team squad players to me. Scott McTominay in midfield and not signing a midfielder. I'd go as far as to say that United's successes this season depend on whether the youth can repay the faith that Solskjaer has put in them. And he's just doing what he believes in. Solskjaer has always done that. At Mulder... He did it at Cardiff as well. He puts faith in the youngsters. And I'm never, ever going to begrudge a United manager for doing that. I just hope that the players can return that faith and have a great season. Because if they can, and they do, I think United will have a successful year. I wouldn't say it's all dependent on the youth. I think that's unfair. But Solskjaer's put so much faith in it that if it doesn't work, that's going to be a big reason why. For me, one of the things I loved most about that win against Chelsea wasn't just the fact that we won 4-0. It's the fact that at 2-0, 
we didn't stop. At 1-0, we didn't stop. At 3-0, we didn't stop. We kept attacking. And I think we're going to be seeing that a lot from United this season. I don't expect to see United sitting on a 1-0 lead too often and then just dropping deep. That's what Jose Mourinho did. And it was a style of management and it worked for him. But for Solskjaer, I think killing the game off by scoring more goals is going to be what he's going to want to do. And that's going to be the strength of this United team. Although in defence now, we've got such a good defence in comparison to last year that Solskjaer will have faith in chasing that second goal because we've got Maguire and wan covering just in case we do balls it up. I think that's going to be a big marked shift from last year and going forward for United. And let's be honest, that was always the United way. We never really sat back too often. Yes, we did away in Europe in certain fixtures, but traditionally, we went for the jugular. We went for the second and the third and the fourth goals to kill the game. That's when Old Trafford was bouncing. And it was bouncing against Chelsea. And I expect to see a lot more of that this year from Solskjaer's United. Now, one thing that Solskjaer really has to work on is Paul Pogba and getting the most out of Pogba. He got two assists against Chelsea, but I don't even think he'll tell you it was his best game. He was slightly off form, but getting the most out of Pogba, getting Pogba happy to be playing for United again, is going to be a big, big job for Solskjaer this year. If, if Pogba got his way this summer, he'd be playing for Real Madrid. But he didn't. United didn't let their man go. And Pogba is staying. And it's Solskjaer's job as manager now to get the most out of Pogba. Make him happy to be playing for United again. Make him realise that, wait, this is an exciting team. I do want to stay here. I want to be part of this. And if we can have the sort of season that Solskjaer wants, maybe that can happen. Maybe it's impossible. Maybe Pogba joining Madrid in the summer is absolutely inevitable. But this year, Solskjaer has an opportunity through his start of management and the start of football that he makes his United team play to make Pogba happy again. If he can do that, that would be a huge, huge bonus. But an even harder task than getting the most out of Pogba is finding or bringing Alexis Sanchez back to life. He's never really been alive at United. The former Arsenal man just hasn't been firing at any point in a United shirt. And Solskjaer has a task now of trying to get something out of him because Solskjaer has been saying Sanchez isn't leaving. He's working hard, he's a true professional. We need to see that. But I've got this little niggling thought at the back of my head. What if Solskjaer can get Sanchez scoring again? What if Sanchez can return to that sort of former glory that made United sign him in the first place? I know it seems like an impossible task and I've always said on record, and I still think it is the case, Sanchez is the worst single signing we've made post Fergie because of the impact it had on the club with his substantial wages and just downright shit attitude. But what if Sanchez can come good and score 10 or more goals this year and replace some of the goals that Lukaku left with? That would be such a huge bonus that I didn't even consider an option this year. But Solskjaer seems to want to keep Sanchez. And if he can get the most out of him, maybe United will have a Big, big surprise on their hands and Sanchez can start scoring this year. He certainly can't be any worse than he has been previously. But just what if Solskjaer can get him firing again? Ultimately, if you're looking at all of these plans and changes and Pogba and Sanchez, it all points towards one thing. And that's the ambitions and the goals of this season, which for Solskjaer will be top four and winning the Europa League. For me, I would almost argue that winning the Europa League will be his priority. It's a trophy and it gets you Champions League football next year. That season under Mourinho was the best post-Fergie season that we've had. Winning the Europa League in the first season that we were in it, can we win it in the second season we are in it? That will be Solskjaer's aim. And it'll be interesting to see what sort of teams he plays in the Europa League, Thursday, Sunday games. It's going to be a bit annoying. But top four will be going for that as well at the same time. Domestic trophies, I don't think Solskjaer will throw them away either. He'll want to try it all in everything. And it's going to be down to the squad to see what they can do in all competitions and whether they can fulfil the expectations that Solskjaer will have on them. He's going to be a, a hard taskmaster in some respects. That real focus I think he's had on fitness is going to be, he wants his teams to be hardworking from the first minute to the 90th minute. No slacking. 
And to do that in the Europa League, in the Premier League, in the FA Cup, in the League Cup, it's going to be very hard. But let's see what happens this season from Solskjaer's United. For me, the plan is quite clear. That new, I say new counter-attacking style, it's not new, but we couldn't do it for a sustained periods last year because we weren't fit enough. We now have had the pre-season that gives us the opportunity to do that. A new defence gives us more defensive stability, a new style of build-up play. What can happen with Pogba and Sanchez? There's so many ifs and buts, but it's clear that Solskjaer wants to rebuild this United team in the image that he had as a player, that he saw at United and he wants to bring back this season. So let me know what you think. Are you excited about the season coming up? Or was that Chelsea game a one-off? What are your fears? What do you think is going to be the hurdles for United? Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. But I'm pretty excited about this year. I do think we still needed a central midfielder. But maybe McTominay and Pogba and Fred and Pereira will all exceed expectations and fill that gap bigger than we think they can. And maybe United can end this season with the Europa League in a top four finish. If we can do that, for me, that will be a very successful season. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. Until next time, though, take it easy.